we are <clears throat> on a Daniel fast and on a Daniel fast, you can only eat a certain type of things. You can only eat fruits, vegetables. Okay. Okay. We're on a 14 day <laughs> Daniel fast. Unfortunately, my wife doesn't know how to speak right now. <laughs> We're on a 14 day Daniel fast. We cannot have sugar. All we can drink is water, no caffeine, nuts, fruits, vegetables. You can have nuts, fruits, and vegetables. Yeah, we can eat those things. Nuts, and fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes, which is like your beans. Basically anything that tastes good, you can't have. <laughs> In this video, we're going to, since we're doing the Daniel fast, we're kind of walking you through three recipes or three things that we're eating on the fast, which include cauliflower tacos, um, brown rice stir fry, stir fry. Oh, this Florida <laughs> avocado salad. It's like a quinoa uh, black bean base with like avocado, cucumber, lime, orangey, yum, 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 all stuff that. on top. So we're going to dive into the first recipe of tonight. If you see us wearing the same clothes, because we ain't changing our clothes, lounge clothes every single night. Um, but yeah, come along with me. Ayo, you should have done the Ayo Chef what's on the menu. You should have come along with me as... Keith assists me and I make buffalo cauliflower tacos with corn tortillas because you can't have regular flour tortillas. Corn is work is does work because it's like is corn a vegetable? Corn works. So stay tuned. Okay, you want to first start off by cutting your cauliflowers into chunks. You're gonna season it with garlic powder, onion powder, half a cup of almond flour, half a cup of water, and salt and pepper. You're gonna put it in your air fryer and cook it at 400 degrees for about 12 minutes. We'll come back to it in a second. Then you are going to cut your fillings. I did red cabbage, avocado, cilantro, and a lime crema sauce, which you will see here in a second. So I forgot to soak my cashews, so I'm going to boil them for about 10 minutes instead. We're gonna put some of the ingredients into the blender, which is a fourth cup of cilantro, a fourth teaspoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of salt, juices from two limes, and a clove of garlic, and a half cup of water. Cauliflower is done, you're gonna put buffalo sauce all over them and put them back in the air fryer at 400 degrees for another five minutes. I was struggling with enough buffalo sauce this first go around. I put aluminum foil in my air fryer because it helps for easy cleanup. Stuff those bad boys in there. And then we will get back to our lime crema sauce. Once your cashews are done, you're gonna Remove the water from them, put them in your blender with the rest of the ingredients. I was a little slow doing this here. And then you're gonna blend that up for your dairy-free lime crema sauce. Now it's time to just fill your tacos. You're just gonna use your corn tortilla. I like to heat mine up. Put your cauliflower, buffalo cauliflower in the tortilla and then put your toppings on with the lime crema sauce and you're done. Okay, here is the finished product. Yeah. Cauliflower tacos, red cabbage, avocado, and we made a dairy-free lime crema sauce that's like cashew based. So we're gonna try it together. These corn tortillas are known to fall apart. So bring you closer. Buffalo cauliflower topping. Yeah. Cabbage and avocado. Taste the cashew just a little bit, but not on the taco. I can't taste it. What you really can taste is the buffalo cauliflower and corn mm -hmm. tortilla. That's pretty much it. Everything else is a compliment. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. I would eat this while we're not on the fast. Yes. We'll put the recipe in the link of this video in the description. This is good, I'm telling you. Why are you walking up? <laughs> Welcome back. Recipe number dos. Tell them what we're eating tonight. 
We're eating brown rice stir fry. It's basically brown rice, which is a whole grain. You can eat brown rice on a Daniel fast and a bunch of vegetables. Seasoned with um, soy sauce, sesame oil, and um, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Oh, and plant butter. It tastes anything like we had for the first recipe. I am excited. Yeah, so. And hey, take you along on how to make it. Really take, simple, really yeah. easy. Um, anyone can do this. So. Yeah, take notes. So this recipe is super easy. You're gonna heat some oil in a pan and then you're gonna cut whatever vegetables you want. I did onion and red pepper, snap peas, broccoli, and leftover cabbage that we had from our cauliflower tacos. Make sure you season it really good. I use only pepper and garlic salt. So you're gonna put all of that in a pan and make sure you continue to season really well until the vegetables cook down for a little bit. At the same time, I have my brown rice cooking in a small pot. Once the vegetables are cooked down, I'm gonna put in my plant butter. You can put however much you want to just bring a little bit more flavor to the dish. And you're going to add soy sauce and sesame oil. Then you're going to add your brown rice to the dish and then you're done. Brown rice stir fry. It has broccoli, snow peas, cabbage, red pepper, and onion, and of course, bread rice. So, ready to try? Ready. Shall we cheers? All right, start without me. <laughs> Not cheering food, uh, but this is good. This is good. Like another, it? yep, another A plus from my wife. Like I said, she'd be in her bag of tricks, man, pulling these out. I'm surprised. I knew this would actually be pretty good. <laughs> I'm more confident in this meal than any of the other ones. Mm -hmm. You just saute the vegetables, cook the rice, put the soy sauce on it. So, yep, guys. Stay tuned for the third one. Yep, stay tuned for the third one. All right, what's up, guys? Um, it's our third recipe. Today, <laughs> Tell them what we're having tonight. Okay, I found this recipe on TikTok, and it's called a Florida, Florida, Florida avocado salad, but it's basically a black bean corn and quinoa base with peppers with a avocado and mango salsa, or yeah, avocado mango salsa on top. So. The last time my wife made a quinoa based <laughs> meal, it was really good. What was that really mean? It was a turkey quinoa skillet. Turkey quinoa skillet. <laughs> it was so good. Um, you hear weird noises? It's our dog eating food in the background. <laughs> oh, yeah. It makes eating. It's dinner time for everybody. So, <laughs> yep. So, we'll show you coming up soon. So, this dish is a little bit more complicated compared to the other two, but simply because it's a lot of chopping, but you're just going to cut your jalapeno to create your avocado mango salsa. So put that in a bowl, cut your avocado, make sure you take those seeds out. Chop it up, throw it in the bowl. You're gonna cook your quinoa in the meantime. I did about one cup and a half of quinoa, which creates a lot of food. I threw some garlic in there and some salt to add flavor to it. You're gonna go back and start cutting up your cucumber. I decided to take some of the skin off so it's not too harsh on the taste buds. You're gonna cut up your mango. I did about two mangoes, but you can adjust to however much mango you want. 
I typically like a lot of mango in my salsa just because I love mango the fruit so much and so does Keith. Add some salt and some cilantro and then you're going to use the juice of a whole orange and some lime. This is where I use Keith because I really struggle with getting juice out of fruit. Then you're going to cut up some red onion. This is to start the base for the quinoa black bean corn base. And this is where you're just gonna cut up a ton of your vegetables including red onion, yellow pepper, orange pepper, add a little bit of garlic so it can bring some flavor to the peppers. Peppers are kind of sweet so that's what really helps with that as well. And you're going to also do the red pepper too. At this point I was kind of tired of cutting so it just was whatever needed to be done. But throw that all into your stir fry pan. You're gonna mix it all together, add a little bit of seasoning. This, I just use salt and pepper, garlic salt. You're gonna mix it all together and wait for that to cook down a little bit. Once it's done, you'll make sure your quinoa is done. Here I am just mixing the avocado mango salsa. And then you're going to strain your corn and black beans. I just did it from a can. Put it in there with your peppers and mix it all together. And once your corn and black beans are warmed up, you can add your quinoa and mix that all together. And that's pretty much it. You can adjust first taste. I added a little bit of onion powder and garlic powder and salt and pepper. And that's pretty much it. Mix it all together and you're done. To form the dish, you just put it in a bowl, the base at the bottom, and your salsa on top, and you're ready to eat. All right, guys, we're all done. Yee! That's what it looks like. <laughs> this is what it looks like. The lighting is better over there, but hey. <sighs> Are we trying it on camera here? Yeah. All right. I'm excited. Moment of truth. Yeah, make sure you get a little bit of everything. Mmm. Uh, good. Mm-hmm. It's good. For you. Guys, mm -hmm. it's good and healthy. Uh, yeah, this is the Florida <laughs> avocado salad. Florida avocado salad. So, and hope you guys try it and let us know what you think about it. This is so good. The mangoes are really ripe, so that's what makes it taste really good. In her bag of tricks, telling. <laughs>